Okay, let's turn our attention to the latest in the world of social media and a recent announcement from Apple that will have many users pretty interested. I'm joined by our social media expert, Dr. Karen Sutherland from the University of the Sunshine Coast. Welcome back, how are you? Well, thank you, how are you? Going well. So this is an interesting one. I mean, we talk about tracking and people giving permission for their information and that sort of thing. So what are you seeing with what uh, Apple has launched here? Yeah, look, this has been on the cards for a while and Facebook has uh, protested greatly they, on, on their side about this happening. So with the new iOS update, uh, users will have the ability to say whether or not they want their data tracked across the apps that they use on their phone. And so this means uh, from a user's perspective, they won't be targeted with advertising uh, as that is, I guess, targeted towards their needs and, and the way they're using their phone and what, what their interests are. But for marketers, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out because we've had that luxury of being able to use that data to better target our ads for the businesses that we're representing. So, you know, if someone's into sports, a sports, um, a sports business would be able to actually easily target the right audience with that. So it's going to make it a bit harder to track. But it's going to be interesting to see who wants to turn that off because some people actually like having ads that are actually targeted to their interests. So then what do you think, like what will change when it comes to advertisements, do you think? Will we just be seeing more sort of random advertisements because they don't have our information to actually target us? It's going to be interesting to see how it pans out because I think those with have a, a lot of money to spend on, on ads will be able to do that sort of blanket approach. But those who don't will have to think of, of more sort of strategic ways to reach their customers. But there was a trial of this earlier in the year and I read reports that it's, it actually didn't have much of an impact. So it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Some experts have said, the social media experts have said that maybe, um, they've speculated that maybe platforms like Facebook might sort of up their organic reach just a little bit because then they'll be able to actually draw on that data to better target. So who knows? So do you, do you have an opinion as to whether this is a, a good thing or a bad thing? Obviously, different groups are affected, um, but do you, do you sort of like this move? Look, I think the, this issue of data privacy is, is going to keep growing and in importance. Yep. I think some users really do not want their data to be tracked and they don't want a profile created for, for marketers and advertisers about the way that they use apps and what they do in their activity. But then there are others who are actually like that the, um, the platforms are custom, being customised to their needs and their, their interests. So I think there's really two camps there. Uh, but definitely that issue of data privacy is going to keep growing in importance. And just briefly, we're running another social media story today uh, regarding Facebook. They've announced that its social media platform, Instagram, will soon have its own marketplace. So this is, you know, we know uh, Facebook has one of their own, now Instagram are, are opening theirs. Um, what are your views on what we're seeing here? Yeah, look, I did a little bit of research on this this morning and it seems to be more in line with uh, creators. So right. it seems to making it easier for creators to sell products and to broker deals with brands and um, even to be able to sell things live when they're doing their, their live uh, video streams and things of that nature. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. They, they haven't been really specific about exactly what the features are yet, uh, but they, they're saying they just want to make it easier for people to be able to sell items on there. They have shops already, but yep. this will take a whole new level as it, it seems anyway. But yeah, it might be a little while before the, all this stuff comes to fruition. Yeah, absolutely. But they're all sort of obviously competing against each other. And, you know, we've spoken a lot about voice and audio and marketplaces. They're, they're all sort of doing the same things, but they're trying to, you know, they're fighting for the same space in many ways, of course. Um, hey, great to have another good chat with you. Enjoy your day. We'll talk really soon, okay? Thanks very much. See you.